Hello, I'm Aura Niedrich, author of Live True, A Mindfulness Guide to Authenticity, and founder and president of the Institute for Transformational Thinking. As a mindfulness practitioner, I realize that we are facing one of the most challenging times we have ever imagined in our lifetime with the coronavirus pandemic. Mindfulness can help you get through your days by being more aware of the thoughts that you have at this time, which are very prone to fear and anxiety. By having a mindful awareness of the thoughts that you are harboring in your mind, you can manage the days with more ease, calmness, and equanimity. An example of this would be that if you are watching the news or social media at this time, you are most likely bombarded with a lot of frightening and negative information. Instead of going into reactive mode, you want to stay in something that is called observation mode, as if you are witness to what you are watching or looking at or listening to. If or when a negative or fear-based thought comes up, acknowledge it, Note it, be aware of it, and change that thought from a negative or fear-based thought to its positive counterpart. An example of that could be, instead of saying, oh my God, the world is coming to an end, or the world will never be the same again, or I'm going to get the coronavirus, or my loved ones are going to get the coronavirus, Catch that negative or fear-based thought the moment that you're having it and do what I call in my first book, Says Who, the release and replace technique. What that is essentially is that if or when a negative or fear-based thought comes up, you let it go and replace it immediately with its positive counterpart. A positive substitute for a negative or fear-based thought like the world is coming to an end is perhaps something like, we will get through this. This is a very difficult and challenging time for the entire world, but we will get through this and get on the other side of it. You know, things like that, replacing our negative and fear-based thoughts with their positive counterparts can be so helpful in managing our day and our isolation and our social distancing at this time with calmness and more equanimity. It's also important to structure your day mindfully. Give yourself time in the day to do contemplative practices like mindful meditation, yoga, just mindfulness in itself would be sitting quietly somewhere and allowing yourself to be present again with thoughts that are positive and life affirming. Make sure that you don't spend time glued in front of the TV watching the news because it can be very depressing and very worrisome. It's important to support our mental health during this time. And again, mindfulness, having a mindful awareness of the thoughts that you are allowing for can help you and so that you don't go into downward spiral of negative thinking and depression. Do some wonderful self-care during this time. It's important to balance your day. Doing things like taking warm baths, again, meditating, yoga, cooking, writing in a journal, doing anything that you can that takes your mind off of just focusing on the negative and putting it on the positive. Having a mindful awareness of what we do and the activities that we're doing and the thoughts that we're having is already gonna to start to shift you into a more positive state of mind. Mindfulness is a very useful practice at this time. Catch yourself when you find yourself going into the future of what might or could happen or be cognizant of when you are going into the past and worrying about things that have come and gone. By staying present, you can be much more in control of the thoughts that you are electing and choosing to have at this time. Mindfulness is an invaluable practice and everybody can practice it starting today. Begin first thing in the morning with the thoughts that you tell yourself from the moment you get out of bed. Are they thoughts of worry? Are they thoughts of fear? 
are they thoughts of concern? Now, it's very understandable that you would have thoughts like that at this time, but try to make a concerted effort to change them out so that they're positive. My book, Live True, gives a lot of advice on how to stay present. There are meditations at the end of each and every chapter, and even if you're not a meditator, you can jump in and begin with the very first meditation. There are also things called note to self, which are positive affirmations that you can tell yourself during this challenging time. Mindfulness is a skill, is a tool, is a capacity that each and every one of us can utilize. And I can't emphasize enough how helpful it can be for you during this time. I suggest you pick up Live True, read the chapters, try the meditations, and be very aware of the help that the note to self chapters have for you. And be very mindful how you spend your days. Allow yourself to beef up your self-care, keep your thoughts positive, and stay healthy and safe.